Hi, good evening and welcome back. I hope you've had a wonderful Tuesday. Um, tonight, our topic for conversation is going to be an Eric Nam song. I recently did a review of an Eric Nam song, his, um, one of his new songs, he has two new songs. I recently did a reaction to Don't Leave Yet. Um, that was a couple videos ago, but tonight we're gonna be talking about his second new song, which is called House on a Hill. I heard it for the first time today and I kind of fell in love. It was amazing. Um, but what I want to talk about in, in particular about the song is that the theme of the song and the message of the song is like, when am I going to be happy? Is more ever going to be enough? Um, and it says, uh, one of the lines is something like, the grass is green, but I wish it was greener. Or the sky is blue, but I wish it was bluer. And it's very much about like, if I get this, am I going to be happy? If I get this, am I going to be happy? But if I keep saying more and more and more, is there ever going to be a time where I'm happy kind of thing? Um, it is a beautiful message to a song. He does it so much justice, so much more justice than I just did trying to explain the song to you. I did a terrible job. So do yourself the favor and go listen to it instead of just listening to me talk about it. Um, it's by Eric Nam. It's called House on a Hill. He has a new album coming out soon and the album title is House on a Hill. I originally thought it was going to be like a horror, horror, a scary <laughs> themed album or song because House on a Hill makes me think of something that's like scary, but it's very not. It's very much the, the one of the first couple lines of House on a Hill is that, you know, I'll be happy when I get a house on a hill kind of thing. Um, that's not exactly what he says, but that's generally what it says. Um, and so that really made me think about it. I'm not going to lie to you. I sat at my desk at work today and I sort of quietly cried listening to the song because it was so heartfelt and so beautiful and it really like hit me in a very intimate place. Um, I And I'm going to be honest with you, it would not be a normal work week if I didn't cry at my desk a couple of times. <laughs> that's just who I am. Um, yeah, that's just who I am. I can't help it. <laughs> that's an off topic. That's a totally different topic. We're getting back to my topic for today. My topic for today being House on a Hill and how like the message for the song um, is about, you know, when am I gonna be happy? And maybe I should just try to be happy where I am right now kind of thing is the message I got from the song. Um, and I'm gonna be honest, I am a terribly anxious person. I am not exaggerating. <laughs> There's nothing wonderful about that to exaggerate about. Um, my doctor, diagnosed me with what he called anxious distress, just meaning that no matter what is happening in my life, whether I'm having a good day or a bad day, no matter what is happening in my life, I am going to be anxious. Um, I'm going to be thinking about something totally different and something that's probably not going to happen, but 99.9% .9 of the time in my life, I'm anxious. Um, I've been like this for as long as I can remember. Um, but the problem is of being anxious is that I'm constantly living in the future and I'm constantly worried about what could happen or what might happen or worried about work on Friday or worried about um, this conversation that I had and what, what the next conversation is going to be with that person kind of thing. I am constantly living in the future because I'm constantly anxious and that's not a very good way to live just in general. I want to be able to appreciate where I am now and I think that if I could live more presently and be happy for what I have now and happy what I have today, then I think my life would be a lot better. <laughs> um, just very honestly, um, the way I sort of think of the, the way I kind of think of it is I want to learn to appreciate Mondays as someone who grew up going to school Monday through Friday and then going to college Monday through Friday. Um, Mondays are just terrifying and I dread them and there's just something really difficult about Mondays in general. It's a very like stereotypical thought. They're like, oh, Mondays, yeah. But like, I wanna be able to appreciate the days that aren't the weekend. Like I want to be excited for my Monday and appreciate Monday as it is and not be on a countdown to the weekend or constantly be looking forward to like when I'm gonna be happier, when I'm gonna have my, my shit together and like when things are gonna be in line. I wanna be able to like appreciate the Mondays and the Tuesdays and all the like normal days and be happy here. Um, and so that's what the song kind of meant to me. It kind of made me think of that. And then that made me, that's what made me cry a little bit thinking about like, I need to be more appreciative and I need to like be appreciative of today and not live in the future. And that is so difficult. And I'm not preaching to you. I'm more like telling you what I need to tell myself. Um, cause I don't know what place you're in. I just know that this song, this is where it hit me. And I wanted to share it with you because we talk about pretty much everything um, at this point. Um, but yeah, so that's what the song kind of meant to me. 
So yes, Eric Nam, House on a Hill. That's going to be our song for tonight because it was our song for today. I listened to it on repeat a lot and it was what we talked about today. So that's our song for today. I hope you enjoy it if you get a chance to listen to it. I also hope you're having a wonderful evening so far. And if not, I hope it gets better. And until tomorrow, I will be here probably listening to Eric Nam. What else am I going to be doing? Am I doing anything else? In the morning, I'm going to be filming a reaction to the two newest shiny songs, Hard and Juice. And I've been putting that off for days now. And I'm so anxious to listen to their new album and so excited to see the new music videos. But I'm holding off because I want to watch it with you. So I've been thinking about it so much that I'm just going to wake up in the morning and do it first thing so that I can listen to their new music at work tomorrow. So that's what's on my mind. That's what I'm going to be doing between now and when I see you again. But um, I hope you get some wonderful sleep tonight and have amazing dreams and that you just have the best night possible ever. But until then, I'll see you tomorrow.